to God. We just want to give him praise and glory. Uh, yes, I just want to worship him this morning. Uh, yes, I am rejoicing because I have found myself amongst the living this morning. Uh, glory to God. Won't you rejoice with me? Come on, somebody. Real talk is in the house. anybody to see your joy come on now ah uh, yes we are rejoicing today because we are alive and well glory to god we are amongst the living and the joy of the lord is our strength uh come on somebody let us give him praise this morning uh because he is worthy of it somebody this morning let me tell you something don't allow nobody you understand don't allow nobody to steal your prayers hold on a second bear with me here don't allow nobody uh, to steal your praise yeah they can take everything from me uh, but you cannot take my praise uh, glory to God yeah uh, you may lose some stuff but don't lose your praise There we go. It doesn't matter what comes. Uh, this morning we're talking about rejection uh, uh, within a marriage. Hmm, how does that look? Uh, uh, what does that look like? And uh, yep, it's real. Uh, but let's uh, give God some praise this morning. I'm excited. You know why? Because I am delivered. I want to take this up from the top. Come on, if you are delivered. And if you are free this morning, uh, let's give God some praise. Uh, rise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is on you.
to God, glory to God. I am excited this morning. I am excited. I am excited. Uh, yes, because what? I am up and thankful. Glory to God. Uh, good morning, uh, Sister Anisha. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you see, God always sends somebody to help me out. You know, trust me, I'm telling you. Uh, glory to God. No one can stop this show. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. I am grateful. I am excited that I'm alive this morning, uh, giving God thanks and giving him praise. It is a great day. It is an awesome day. It is the Lord's day and I am rejoicing and I am so glad in it. Uh, glory to God. Uh, this morning, I, I'm not going to be before us long as I planned on being long. The reason why is because I am expecting a guest. Yes. Um, yep. You know, uh, Real Talk has partnered with Asia, um, Agents of Change. Uh, yes. Who is doing a wonderful work down there in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yep. Uh, yep. So again, I'm going to get myself together because guess what? I am putting uh, my act and my money where my mouth is and I'm giving I'm praying but I'm still giving I encourage you uh, today to let us give uh, to organizations like these who are doing a great work down there in St. Vincent uh, allowing people to get the stuff that they need again uh, this is a trustworthy organization and I think I'm going to have the president uh, come on here. Let's talk with Vivian. Uh, yes, I think I'm going to ask her if she's available to do that. Let's talk with Vivian and let you hear uh, the things that they're doing, what they have been doing, what they continue to do. Uh, because let me tell you something. People are really working behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not about preaching the gospel alone. You know, it's not about doing all of that. You know, we got to be active uh, on the ground. And many of us are doing that. So I want to, uh, you know, let this woman of God come on and talk about their work. Uh, glory to God. But today, briefly, I'm just going to give you the introduction of what I'm going to talk about tomorrow uh, because um, um, I got to go and deal with some things, but I wanted to be faithful to um, to my word that I was coming out. We've been talking about uh, rejection since Wednesday. I think since Tuesday, the spirit of rejection, how deadly it is and what it does to you, how it oppresses you. Uh, yes, it makes you look... Um, 
feel like you're less than. Uh, it makes you feel like you have to compete. It makes you feel like uh, you have to buy love and all that stuff and all that stuff that the spirit does. And uh, yeah, it makes you, uh, again, a competitive spirit. Uh, but I am here to tell you that deliverance is already here. Uh, when Jesus Christ said it is finished, he dealt with that rejection, glory to God, because he uh, was rejected that you could be accepted, glory to God. And you got to believe that. And that's why the devil doesn't want you to know. Uh, yes, he wants to steal your identity. Uh, glory to God. You can't allow him uh, to do that. We bless his name this morning. Uh, glory to God. Uh, so again, this morning, I just want to give us a little intro of where I'm going to be going over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, you want to join me for Rise and Shine because I will be going in depth Um with dealing with the spirit of rejection in relationships, in marriages. Yes. Have you as a wife ever felt rejected? Um, you know, married uh, to this man who, uh, you know, you vowed to spend the rest of your life with. Uh, you understand on that day, you know, you felt joy and happiness. You felt uh, togetherness. You felt loved uh, only to realize after three months into the marriage, uh, the spirit of rejection is now in the equation. Have you, can you be honest with yourself uh, that you've dealt with this spirit in your marriage? You felt rejected, uh, glory to God. You felt unloved. You felt unwanted. We bless his name. I am going to share the story of a wife. Uh, glory to God. Yes, a wife who um, one day her husband left his phone at home. Uh, come on now. This is this has reached a lot of people. Some of us don't want to talk about it. Uh, some of us are ashamed about it. But this wife husband left his phone at his, his phone at home and went to work. And the text came in and I think, you know, maybe she figured, hey, it's my husband. Uh, you know, we're very transparent. You know, we don't have any secrets. I'm sure he can answer my phone. I can answer his phone, uh, that type of thing. I'm mean, assuming that's what the relationship was. And she took the phone up and she opened the text only to read, I love you and I can't wait for us to be together. My God. Listen, she's reading the text and it says, I love you and I can't wait for us to be together. And the thing about it is she knows that she's not the one that sent that text. Can you imagine what would have been going through your mind when you saw that? How would you feel? Be honest. How would you feel within yourself reading a text like that uh, on your husband's phone? I'm not even talking about your boyfriend. I'm not even talking about somebody who you just met a couple of days ago. I'm not even talking about somebody who you know you have sex with occasionally. I'm talking about a man who you committed and you dedicated your life to, to love and to hold uh, through good and through bad, through sickness and health, a uh, windstorm, wave, earthquake. You are not leaving. Uh, you understand? And you look at that message. Hmm. Rejection. Feel rejected. Feel abandoned. All these sorts of feelings starts flooding. And if you're going to sit there and tell me that, you know what, Vivian, I wouldn't feel any way, whatever. You are lying. You are lying to yourself. Glory to God. You are lying to yourself and you cannot accept the truth. Uh, glory to God. Ways that we can be rejected in your marriage. And I'm going to just click on four points, and then I'm going to go in it tomorrow. Uh, glory to God. Uh, yes, you can be rejected in a marriage. Uh, there is a word or, or a type of rejection that calls uh, material rejection. That's in a marriage. Uh, you understand? Verbal rejection within the marriage. Uh, you understand? Physical rejection uh, within the marriage and emotional rejection. The sad thing about it is some men and some women are going through all four of these. Could you imagine how that, that relationship is toxic? You understand? You're dealing with emotional rejection. You're dealing with physical rejection, uh, glory to God, verbal rejection and material rejection. And I believe uh, the material rejection, you know, you can easily deal with it. Uh, material rejection is like when, you know, for example, you said, you know what, honey, um, you know, I, I had a dream and, and I, I dreamed to have this nice, posh bedroom set. You understand? And you're excited about it. Uh, you understand? And you're 
thinking that your husband is going to be on board with you, excited. And then you go to him and say, honey, listen, let's buy this bedroom set. I love it. Uh, it costs a couple thousand dollars, but guess what? We can afford it. And he crushes your spirit and says, you know what? No, I don't want it. I don't need it. That's foolishness. Uh, it's ugly or something. You understand? That um, idea or that dream or desire, um, you know, that you had has now been rejected uh, by your husband. So you feel rejected. You feel like, listen, he should have wanted it. He should have been excited like me, but now he rejected that. Uh, that is a form of material rejection. Uh, glory to God. One of the ones that, and we're going to go in depth uh, tomorrow. Another point is that uh, the verbal rejection Glory to God. I want to ask the question. You have your husband, you have your boyfriend, you have your girlfriend, you have your wife. Uh, you understand there's somebody. Yeah. And, and let me take this on a context of a boyfriend. You know, uh, you're dating and you're courting this guy. Uh, it's been about a year, six months now. And in the, in the midst of everything, you realize like, listen, um, he doesn't answer your calls. He's not answering your phone calls. But if you send him a text message, he replies uh, to the text message, but he's not answering your phone call. Would you say that's a sign of rejection? Uh, yeah, we're going to go there. Uh, would you say that that's rejection because uh, he chooses now uh, not to answer you, uh, but just to respond through text? We're going to go there tomorrow. Uh, yes. Hmm. Uh, are you being rejected? Uh, yeah. Is that a red flag that you should be looking into when it comes to uh, rejection in a relationship? Glory to God. And then we have the physical rejection physical rejection. Uh, yes, the sexual and the, uh, the, the, you know, all that stuff. Hmm. Uh, do you feel rejected uh, by your husband? Uh, you understand when it comes to sex? Is withholding sex from your wife or your husband, is that a sign of being re a rejection? It's, is, is it, uh, you know, when you put your foot or you roll over and he, he shrugs you off, uh, you understand? Uh, is that a sign of rejection? Hmm. Or uh, when you finish having sex uh, and he turns his back, uh, you understand? Is that a sign of rejection? Or when she turns her back, uh, is that a red flag that, listen, uh, you know, is it's he, my husband's rejecting me because in essence you have some husband and wives they only have sex with their partner because they feel obligated to yeah they're only having sex with them because they feel it's an obligation because of the marital union they don't want to do it they just feel obligated to do it. While this person on the other end is not even realizing that, listen, my husband only has sex with me because he feels obligated because he sees himself that, you know, as a husband, it's a husband duty. So, you know what? I'm just doing it because I'm her husband. I'm just doing it because he, uh, um, she's my wife or he's my husband. Yes. Is that a sign? Hmm. Ah, uh, come on, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, so the next time you know you're 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 being intimate with your husband, you gotta know is this out of obligation, uh, you know, and a form of rejection, or does he really want me? Yes. <laughs> It's not funny, but it's true. And a lot of women are suffering because of that. A lot of women, uh, you understand are suffering in that area. And I think that's one of the most prominent, the verbal and the physical. And then you have the emotional ones. Uh, the emotional, uh, you know, when you're having a conversation with your husband or, uh, you know, your husband-to-be, uh, you understand? And he gets verbally abusive and, and words start coming in and he starts describing you. Is that a red flag that, listen, uh, he is rejecting you. And we need to talk about these things, uh, you understand? Because a lot of men and women are marrying persons uh, that in essence, I showed them the sign, uh, you understand? The man I showed you a sign that, listen, uh, he doesn't really want you, but you're not seeing it and you still marry him. So you're entering into a, a marriage where rejection is already a part of the foundation. Glory to God. 
Uh, you understand? Uh, so we want to talk about these things, and these are real things, and it's a real talk. Uh, you know, and again, um, you know, I'm your host coming to you live from out of Toronto, Canada. Uh, I, this is not something to preach, and this is not, this is a real thing uh, that we need. People need healing. Uh, they need deliverance. Uh, you understand? And, and to be made whole, and Jesus Christ can bring us to that place. Uh, let me tell you something. When you get freed from these, uh, these things, uh, you understand? I'm trying to say, you are liberated. You are free. Uh, you understand? You begin to value yourself because, again, as I said, the enemy is designed, uh, you understand, to destroy you and to oppress you with the spirit. Because again, as I want to say that God has desired us and designed us uh, to want to be loved and to give love, uh, but the enemy distorted that. So you might be in a marriage and you think that everything is different. That time your husband has rejected you a long time ago. He's only there out of obligation. I don't want any man because of, I don't want to be in a marriage because he's only obligated because he's married. That means there's no love there. When that lady, let me tell you something, that lady, and I'm going to go into tomorrow, when she found that message in her husband's text, listen, she's married, it's her husband, and she's reading that text message that says, I love you and I can't wait to be with you. When the husband came home, and she confronted him. He admitted to it and he said to her, he saw that that's the way she found out, but he doesn't love her anymore. A matter of fact, he said, and this is a, this is the woman, we got to realize this. He said, you understand, he loves her, but he's not in love with her. We talked about this a while back, the difference with somebody loving you and, and being in love with you. He told his wife, listen, I love you, but I'm not in love with you anymore. That means all this time he was only in it out of obligation to her, but not being in love with her. And when somebody uh, is not in love with you and only obligated to love you, uh, rejection is evident. All of us at one point or another will have to deal with the spirit. But the good thing about it is when you know who you are in Christ Jesus, you can be victorious over it. I can just imagine, and I can't wait to get into it tomorrow. I can just imagine how she felt. And the sad thing about it as women, the, the, it's painful when your husband rejects you for somebody else. Oh, glory to God. When your boyfriend rejects you for somebody else. Now you start to internalize and says, you know what? I am no, and see the enemy now plays on your head. Uh, you know, you're not beautiful enough. Uh, you're not sexy enough. Uh, that's why he had to go out to somebody else. Uh, you understand? You don't do this good enough. This is all a part of the plan of the enemy. You understand? And he use it to beat you down, beat you down. And then depression kicks, um, kicks in. Glory to God. We give him praise. So again, the spirit of rejection, what it looks like in a marriage, what it looks like in a relationship, the four things, uh, yes, that we need, uh, you understand, to look out for. And what we can go through is the material rejection, the verbal rejection, the, the physical rejection, and the emotional rejection. Uh, glory to God. And we're going to get in it this tomorrow because we are going to deal with this spirit head on. You're going to identify it in your marriage. Again, as I said, this woman got the got, saw the message on her husband's phone. And I'm going to go through all the, what she had to go through. Many persons, as I said, you're having sex with your husband, but he's only doing it out of obligation. He turns his back. He doesn't cuddle you. Uh, you, know, um, you know, when you're about to have sex, it's like, okay, you know what? Let's get it over with. Rejection. Yep, rejection. 
you put your foot on him and you give him a hunch that you want to have sex and you know what i'm trying to say he's not tired he's not feeling pain he's not whatever guess what he doesn't want to have sex with you and if he does have sex with you it's just out of obligation there's no emotion in it there's no feeling in it there's no love in it you can be rejected in marriage and again as i said a lot of us sees the seeing the red flag and still enter into the union thinking that you know what he'll change he's already rejecting you he's probably only married you because he felt bad he didn't know how to say no uh you understand so he went into i know somebody uh you understand who was getting married and um his brother was his best man uh you understand i was at the wedding you understand and he was there uh you know what i mean and when the pastor said you know all the accolades and everything and it's his turn to say you know i do whatever he stood there you understand and and his brother had to joke him at his side i'm telling you joke him at his side you understand? And he said, I do. Not even a year. Not even a year. That wife went home and found a woman in their marital home. Yes. So I'm telling you, you understand what I'm trying to say? Men will do things because they feel obligated, but their heart is not in it and women and even men we got to be sensitive and know these things watch out for the signs of rejection glory to god so again uh, i thank you for joining me uh I, we're going to get into this tomorrow uh glory to god again dealing with the spirit of rejection rejection in a relationship uh rejection in a marriage what does it look like you understand what i'm trying to say many of us have had to gone through it you understand? Many of us cried and weep and, and felt like, you know what, how are we going to get over it? How am I going to deal with it? Again, as I said, being rejected for another woman, it is painful. I'm telling you, or even a man being rejected because for another man, why do you think sometimes men kill their spouse or their girlfriend because their ego, uh, being rejected in a relationship cripples a man's ego. Oh, you know, your friend, I'm going to start laughing for you now and this and that. You understand? So guess what? He gets angry and violent. Oh, you diss me. You're crazy. Uh, you reject me. Guess what? No, it's not going to go down like that. People don't accept rejection well in relationships. Yeah. The woman too. You understand? I'm into prison ministry. I've visited for the prison in Jamaica. Uh, you understand? And I know women who are there. Uh, why? Because of being rejected by a man and took it out on the woman. Kill her. True story. Rejection. When you get hurt and become bitter and angry, this is what ends. You retaliate. Because guess what? Your ego was bruised. You were wounded and the enemy taunted you with it. Rejection in a marriage, in a relationship. We're going to go deep in there tomorrow. And let us be honest with ourselves. And I'm going to share a bit of my story because as I said, I can talk about myself so nobody can say I'm talking about them. I had to go through that where you felt like you just wanted to die. You didn't know how you were going to get over it. Oh, yep. I'm going to go there tomorrow with my own story of what I had to deal with and how God himself, some of us has been wounded in relationships when it comes to rejection, that God had to put us to sleep. Glory to God. God had to put me to sleep and cut out that pain. Glory to God. So join me here tomorrow as we talk about rejection in a relationship, how to deal with it, how to handle it, how to respond to it, Jesus' way. Again, thank you for joining me wherever you are around the world. Jesus is Lord. Remember, you have the heart of a champion, the mind of an overcomer, and the spirit of more than a conqueror. Uh, glory to God. Remember, you are a lit candle. Go out and light your world. Again, join me tomorrow. Uh, yes, God's willing. Rise and shine as we talk about the spirit of rejection within a marriage, within a relationship. And how do you handle it? 
How do you bounce back from it? Glory to God. I want to let you know you can by the grace and the help and the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. Again, as I said, I'm so sorry. I got to go because, uh, yes, I'm getting ready to contribute some stuff to St. Vincent. I'm excited about it. I want you to get excited as well. Let us give. Let us pray. If you can give, give. If you can give money, give money. Uh, glory to God. Again, uh, we have to pray for them, but also we got to deal with their physical needs as well. Uh, Jesus not only cared about the woman at the well spiritual need, but he also cared about her physical need. We're called to do that as well. All right. Keep it locked here. Have yourself a wonderful Friday. I'm excited. Looking forward to talking about this tomorrow. Uh, be blessed. <laughs>